Hi everyone, my name is Christina and welcome to my very first YouTube video. Today I want to share an incredible adventure with you, the story of my unforgettable trip to Iceland. From stunning landscapes to thrilling experiences, get ready to join me on this epic journey through this mesmerizing country. So grab a seat, sit back, and let's dive into the magic of Iceland together. It is a trip for three, and to complete our team, we picked up our friend and he did straight to the airport. This isn't the first time we travel together, but the first you see. We make a good team out there. This is for two trips. Where are you going? I'm going Reykjavik. And then? <laughs> then Budapest. I heard the rumors, they call us the three muskaters. I only have one and one question. The first question would be, where are we? We are in the Milan. Milano. Malta. Where are we? We are in the airport. Where are we? We are in the Milan airport. What is the most important thing you packed in your bag? My thermos. <laughs> I'm from Turkey. We, the tea is the most important thing. You are going to prepare tea every day and bring with yourself. Every time, yeah. drink with myself, with, with people, and we are going to Island, we need it. Yeah, it's true. I think we have to layer, so that's what we are going to do every day. We are going to make breakfast. Bye! Outfit of the day. <laughs> A lot of layers. It is February and winter in Iceland. Well, what could be a better time to travel the ring road than in cold, during snowstorms and when everything is covered in ice? But there wouldn't be a better time to see the northern lights. The plan is to drive the ring, sleep in seven different Airbnbs and see as much as we can. It is not one of those relaxing holidays, but more like an expedition. We spent our first night in Keflavik, so naturally we had to check out the latest eruption near Grindavik. It was the 8th of February and the lava that flooded out and melted the road to the city was quite solid, but it was still emitting smoke and smell. Iceland had already built a new road, which looked like it was melting into the lava. But I guess it's only a temporary road. There was the eruption. Oh, let's go here. And that's the lava. And that's the new road. Wow. It smells like... Uh, like melted. Because, as we know, the February 8th eruption wasn't the last. And there is always a chance the new lava is going to flood the road again. And then we began our journey with grocery shopping. Well, you know, if you decide to travel the ring road in Iceland, you will need to prepare your meals. We picked up basics for a week and some snacks because snacks were basically our lunch. We did our shopping at Bonus, which is known as one of the cheapest places to get food in Iceland. And we ended up spending 271 euros for a week worth of food, which is about 40,448 Icelandic krona. Then we headed to the Tingvetlir National Park. Tingvetlir was our first touristic stop. It is a land of wonder where history and nature collide. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is where the Eurasian and North American tectonic plates meet. In winter, it's a snowy wonderland, making the exploration a bit tricky. And because of that, I wish to see this place in summer again. The Icelandic horse is more than just an animal. It's a symbol of Iceland's rich heritage. These horses symbolize the spirit of freedom that defines Iceland itself. There are 80,000 of them, and some might call them ponies. 
By many cherish these animals for their companionship, it's also true that some Icelanders include horse meat in their traditional diet. As a vegetarian, this cultural aspect is challenging to accept. It smells like broken egg here. Thank you. Thank you. One of them is the geyser and the other one is, is the new geyser. And the geyser, so the word geyser comes from this, this one which is not, not working anymore. And the other one is working and I really can't say the names of these things here, but it's, that's why the people go more far. Do you see? There's one more, it's why. Yes, the one of them is working and the other one is not. Iceland's two most iconic geothermal wonders, Geysir and Stroku. As we approach Geysir, we are greeted by the sights of boiling water and the unmistakable scent of sulfur. The ground beneath our feet, colored by minerals and shaped by millennia of activity, or human as well. Only a few steps forward, you will find the tombstone of Geysir. Geysir doesn't do much nowadays. But nearby, Strokur is pretty lively. Every eight minutes, like clockwork, Strokur erupts. And there, amidst the crowd, stands my husband, eyes fixed on Strokur. With each passing moment, the tension builds, until finally, Strokur erupts. And then the last attraction of the Golden Circle, Guldfors, and the famous Icelandic wind. As the Icelanders would say, if you don't like the weather in Iceland, just wait five minutes. Leaving the wind behind, on the way to our Airbnb, we stopped by the carried crater or crater. At this point, I already felt overwhelmed by the beauty of this country. I had already seen where America meets Europe, I had seen geyser and a very big waterfall. I had seen melting lava and lava millions of years old. I had seen things I never thought I would in my life. But I'm incredibly happy that we kept going, because the best is yet to come. <laughs> How does cat know who loves them? Because he smells like a cat. <laughs> And of course, we received a warm welcome at our Airbnb, and that's why ginger cats are special.